Hello everyone. This video is going to be a simple guide to setting up Bowmap Fusion on PC. The mod is currently not available on Quest, so this guide is only for PC. When it becomes available on Quest, I will make a tutorial for it, and you'll see it in the top right corner of your screen if I've already made one. This guide is split into two parts. The first half is for people who have never modded their bone lab with Melon Loader, and the second half is for people who have already set up Melon Loader. If you have not set up Melon Loader, keep watching from here, and if you have set up Melon Loader, then skip to the second half of this video, or skip to this timestamp. To set up Melon Loader, click on the first link in the description. This will take you to the Melon Loader wiki. Scroll down until you see Requirements. Make sure you download .NET Framework 4.8 Runtime, and get the version of Microsoft Visual C++ that matches your system. If you're unsure, just choose 64-bit. There's a good chance you won't need to download any of these, as most Steam games automatically download these when you try to play them, so you could try skipping these downloads and just getting them if the next steps don't work. Next, scroll down to Automated Installation, and download the melonloader.installer.exe. Once it's done, open it, and you should be greeted with this UI. Make sure that the version has a green box next to latest, signifying that it is set to the latest version. And also make sure that the game marked has the same green box next to auto detect, signifying that it will auto detect your game's Arca system. Next to the word Unity game, go ahead and press select. Locate where you have Bone Lab installed and find the exe file for it. Double click it. And here on the Melon Loader UI, press install. And once it's done, you'll be greeted with this little message saying install was successful. That's it for the Melon Loader setup. Now we are going to download some mods and plugins. The first mod you need is called BoneLib. Click the second link in the description and you'll be taken to the Thunderstore page for BoneLib. Click on manual download and open the zip file when it's ready. Locate your BoneLib exe and you should now have a new mods folder. The mods folder located next to your exe is for code mods, so don't put any regular BoneLab mods in here, only .dll files. Drag and drop the mods and plugins folder from the BoneLab zip folder on top of the mods and plugins next to your BoneLab exe. This will automatically put the proper mods and plugins in their proper place. Next, click the third link in the description to download the Ragdoll Player mod. Click on manual download just as we did before, and open the zip folder just as we did before. And one more time, just drag mods on top of mods, and it will put everything in the proper place automatically once again. Now, the final link you need to click in the description will take you to Bone Lab Fusion's Thunderstore page. Click on manual download and open the zip file when it's ready. Fusion currently only works on Bone Lab Patch 3, which is in the public beta tab. So, to access this public beta, as of right now, you need to go to Bone Lab, right click it, click on properties. Go to betas, and make sure you have public beta public testing fixes selected, not patch 1 previous update. When patch 3 releases, this step won't be necessary. I will now show you how you do it on the Oculus client. On the Oculus client, head to the Bone Lab store page, which can be done by searching for Bone Lab, just in the Oculus client's home. Scroll down, and to version, instead of setting it to live, switch it to public beta. That's it for setting it up, there's just one quick note about playing matches with people I'd like to share. You need to ensure whoever you're playing with is on the same network layer as you. If everyone you're playing with owns the game on Steam, you can just select the Steam networking layer. If you're playing with people who own the game on the Oculus Store, you'll need to either choose Space War or Steam VR. I recommend Steam VR as it means that Space War doesn't show up in your recently played games. You don't have to have Steam VR or Space War downloaded, you just need to own them both on Steam. Space War comes with every Steam account, so you will have no need to add that to your library, but most people generally just have Steam VR added to their library. If you just want to play with everyone, I recommend Steam VR, and I hope most people use Steam VR as Space War can be annoying to see show up in your Steam library every time. And with that, you're ready to play Fusion. I hope this helped some of you, and if it did, feel free to share this so you don't have to explain how to set up Fusion every 30 seconds to someone different. See ya.